hang out, twiddle my thumbs, stuff like that. Okay, so the product rule, right? Product rule of radicals. All we simply need to do for each one of these problems, um, hmm, actually, sorry, that's probably a good idea. Eh, yeah, you're right. Okay, so let's just go ahead and break these up. So we can use a, my apply my product rule. So I could say that's going to be the square root of 32 times the square root of x to the eighth, right? Now, since we're, since we're taking the square root, that's my ID. Since we're taking the square root, we're going to want to break this up into a into a um, a term squared, and then here we're going to have to break this up to a term squared. And remember, when simplifying radicals, what I always said was always try to break this up even further into your largest square number, which could be 16 times 2. And then here, how can I rewrite this as a number by using the properties of exponents? How can I write x to the eighth as something squared, as a term squared? Yes? X to the second time x to the fourth. Yes, but let's actually write it like this. x to the fourth squared. Rather than writing x squared to the fourth power, let's write it as x to the fourth squared. The reason being, is this still going to give me x to the eighth, just like it was x to the x, x, just like it would have been what you said? Exactly. But the important thing is, remember, we want to use our inverse operations. Since I'm taking the square root, I want to shape, make sure my exponent is to the second power, right? You want the roots and the powers to be the same, because what they're going to do is inverse or do the opposite operation of each other, so they're going to undo each other. Therefore, over here, I can now rewrite this as 4 squared times 2, and this is going to be x to the fourth. Well, 4 squared undoes it with that, but then we still have the square root of 2. So therefore, my final answer is going to be 4 x to the fourth times the square root of 2. I can't take the square root of 2, so that's going to remain under the radical. However, the square root of 4 squared, or 16, we obviously know the answer is just going to be a 4. So therefore, my final answer is 4 x to the fourth square root of 2. Anybody have any questions on that? Nope. Good? Kind of? A little bit? Maybe? Half some?